Elected representatives turn nearly everything they do into a press release or a photo op, but not this time. No one wants their fingerprints on this one, a move that, so to speak, sheds darkness, not light, on those overseas fact-finding trips that lawmakers seem to love, the kind that take them to exotic places with big money interest groups picking up the tab. Let's get more now from Justice Correspondent Pamela Brown. Members of Congress have had the travel bug for years, visiting places like the old city in Jerusalem to get a sense of the age-old problems there. In fact, Israel, France, Turkey, and Ireland rank among the most popular destinations for lawmakers who are traveling there for free because private sponsors pick up the tab, totaling millions of dollars each year. It used to be each member of Congress must reveal who paid their tab on their personal financial disclosure forms, one of the most high-profile forms lawmakers must file. Now that requirement has changed. It's clearly been done to allow members to escape accountability for lavish trips. Whenever a member of Congress takes an expensive trip, watchdog groups and their constituents ask questions. Why did they need to take this trip? And if they don't have to reveal this trip on their financial disclosure forms, people won't know about it. Buried on page 35 in the House Ethics Committee's guidelines provided to Congress members states the change, meaning the gift to travel, regardless of its dollar value and paid for by a private source, does not need to be reported. The unpublicized change went unnoticed until a reporter with the National Journal spotted it. The chairman of the House Transparency Caucus says that's part of the problem. I only know what I read in the newspapers. I did not know this had taken place. Now, Congress members must disclose all their travel records to the clerk's office instead. The House Ethics Committee says the information is still easily accessible and the change streamlines the process. Congressman Quigley disagrees. No wise Supreme Court justice said that sunshine is the best disinfectant. It doesn't hurt us to be uh, duplicative. I think it helps us at a time when trust in Congress is at an all-time low to be as uh, open and accountable as we possibly can. The trips in question are financed by private, nonprofit groups, usually billed as fact-finding missions. House Democratic Leader Nancy Pelosi is speaking out about the change in a statement, asking the House Ethics Committee to reverse course. While the committee's aim was to simplify the disclosure process, Congress must always move in the direction of more disclosure not less, she says. And in a statement, the Ethics Committee tells CNN that it continues to enforce the requirement that all House members and staff who wish to accept privately sponsored travel must continue to receive prior approval and file detailed paperwork about any such trip within 15 days. Neither of those requirements have been changed or diluted in any way. And, John, the committee is committed to effective and efficient public disclosure, according to the Ethics Committee, in the statement that it provided to CNN. You know, Pamela, we always complain about the lack of bipartisanship in Washington. I suppose if there's good news here, it's a bipartisan shrouding of disclosure and fact-finding here by the Ethics Committee. Explain to our viewers who this committee is. You know, we have the names and the pictures right now. We're going to put them up on the screen right now. This is a rare committee because it works differently than the others in Congress. No, that's absolutely right, John. So there are 10 members of the House Ethics Committee, and it is the only standing committee uh, that is split evenly among Republicans and Democrats. Now, uh, we don't know how each member voted in this case because those votes are kept secret, but we do know there has to be a majority for a vote to pass, and that means that members of both parties would have had to have signed off on this requirement change. As John? I said, a bipartisan shrouding going on here. Pamela Brown.